Shut up. babes it's Maya back with another YouTube video and today as you can see from the title we're gonna get into some hygiene smell goody type of vibes because y'all like when I make videos like this I like making hygiene videos so we're gonna get into it this video particularly is how to smell good all day and when I say all day I don't even just mean like all day I mean like you're waking up the next day because like sometimes I'm a morning shower type of person sometimes I'm a nighttime shower type of person but it really just depends on what all I did throughout the day and you know sometimes you'll get tired especially because recently when I was in California like we were bus another club another club like we wasn't going to the clubs but like we were doing a whole bunch of stuff so it's like I literally just fell asleep that night and like knocked out and I woke up the next morning and my brother was asking me what perfume I had on and I hadn't put anything on except for what like earlier on in the day when I was at the airport at like what like 9 a.m. so that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying it lasts like I'm gonna make sure y'all are out here lasting with the smell so let's go ahead and get into the video Okay, so the first thing that we're going to get into, we're kind of going to go in chronological order. So everything starts in the shower. So we're going to go from morning shower people, or if you're a nighttime shower type of person, just do like these first couple steps, go to sleep, wake up, and then do everything else. But the first, first, first thing we're going to start with is overall, actually, we can start feminine first. So part of smelling good all day long definitely can go for my good sis down there too because i know that i've had a couple encounters where you can smell sis and whether it's you smelling yourself or you're smelling somebody else if it's really bad sometimes everybody's ph balance gets knocked off every once in a while if it's really bad y'all you'll be able to tell exactly what that smell is and you do not want to smell that no matter how good you smell perfume wise if sis down there is stank it's gonna throw off everything else then you're just gonna smell like stank fish and perfume covered up you get what I'm saying we don't want that so <laughs> in order to get rid of that smell we're gonna get some feminine wash or you could use like a regular bar soap this is the Nutriblast so fresh and so clean I think I put this in one of my other videos I can't remember I think I did I mentioned it in my packing video for California if you guys have not seen my California vlog go ahead and go watch that but yeah this stuff right here it has boric acid in it um, aloe vera and prebiotics and it's, it has no smell it's just like a clean jelly consistency I love it or if you guys do not like using like feminine wash you could also use just a regular bar soap or you could just use water as long as you're getting it clean that's all that matters now speaking of bar soaps in order for me to feel like I'm really really clean I have to do like a pre clean before the clean so the cleaner you are especially like if you're just going straight into using your fragrance products I feel like the fragrance isn't gonna stick as well because you, you could possibly not be rubbing everything off so I make sure I go in with my Dove bar soap first sometimes I just use it in my hand and other times I might use it with a washcloth and like scrub everything down especially on the areas that tend to accumulate odor more so armpits down there back there um my neck folds because I sweat a lot your back for sure your back for sure for sure for sure and just scrubbing everything just the whole body honestly one or two times down with this first so then once you get ready to actually put on the fragrance stuff it'll actually have something to like stick to because the body's all clean and stuff okay so next up on that oh I'm dropping stuff y'all y'all know how I get next up on that we're gonna go ahead into the body washes now I have shown all of my Dove body washes before in a video. If you guys have not seen that video, I think it's like my hygiene, it's one of my hygiene videos. The last one that I did where it's like a sit down video, that video, y'all know. If you don't, go look. Um, we're not doing it now because I haven't been using my Dove ones because I'm kind of keeping them for later. I've been using all of my scented scented ones like the Bath and Body Works and stuff like that. So when it comes to scented stuff, into the night is always gonna do it for me it's always gonna do it for me this is a very grown 
smell right here like if you're like leveling up from like the sweet smells this one's like sweet but also like it got a little spice to it so i love into the night and what just fell on the floor which oop, what just fell on the floor which i need to get is in the stars um i love this stuff too they're kind of close like in the stars and into the night are kind of like sisters maybe cousins I love both of the smells. This one is Starflower, Sandalwood, Musk, Sugar, Tangelo, White, Arkerwood, and Radiant Amber, while Into the Night is Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. So these are the 24 hour ones. They definitely do work. I do stay moisturized, like not needing to use a whole bunch of lotion, but still use lotion, y'all. Still use lotion. Next up. We got this right here. I actually got this from Marshalls, I believe. And it smells so, 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 so good. I love peachy smells when it comes to fruits. Peach and like star, is this passion fruit? Yeah, peach and passion fruit smells. Love, love, love. So this one right here, this was what? Wait, I'm sorry y'all. My parents are yelling downstairs for absolutely no reason, just talking loudly. But um, this was $7.99 for this really big, big, big bottle. It lasts a while, y'all. There's hair everywhere. I'm so sorry. Okay, it lasts a very long time. Um, I think I had accidentally spilled some of this, so that's why it's not all the way filled up. Because I'm just, it's heavy though when it is filled up, and it's by Shower Mate, so. This stuff smells really, really good. Like, I wish I could. It literally just smells like peaches. That's literally it. Like, hold up. Yeah, it's just a very peachy smell. Like, if you know anything peach smell, this this is what it's going to be. Um, Let me make sure that's the last body wash that I have. I think it is. And what I've been using recently, I just bought this, is a... um a body a silicone body brush so for me what this is is kind of like when you're using makeup and you're putting your makeup on with your makeup brush okay so as I was saying I got this silicone body brush I've seen a whole bunch of influencers using them on like TikTok and YouTube for their shower routines so I decided to get one and like I was saying with makeup brushes when you're using your makeup brushes your makeup brushes literally soak up so much of your product so it's like you're not really getting the full thing so I kind of feel like that's what it is with like loofahs and um, washcloths so it's like with this it everything just literally slides right off of it so it's like when you're using it on your body you get all of that stuff and the products not getting soaked up into the washcloth or anything because nothing can literally get soaked up into this it's also way more hygienic because of the fact of it being silicone you can just wash it out honestly you can use a little bit of alcohol if you want to like every I'd say probably like every couple of weeks just so it can get like a really good clean and then leave it out to dry but it has this rough little side right here and then it has this bristly side right here and it lathers up the products so 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 good next up this is also this is my last shower thing actually is a really good scrub some people use scrubs in the beginning I kind of like to use scrubs afterwards it depends on if I'm actually shaving or not if I'm shaving I'll use it beforehand if I'm not I'll use it after I'm done with the body wash just so I can have something that stays on the skin these ones are gonna kind of keep that smell in there whereas other ones kind of like wash off after you wash the thing off so then you can't smell the product anymore but with these ones I definitely can this one I brought out because this one smells the best. This one in Tropical Mango that I have. But the vitamin C, it's good and all. But I mainly use it for the brightening effect, not the smell. This right here smells delicious. It's the Coco Colada. So yeah, a good scrub will definitely have you smelling good all day long if you use it properly. I'm talking about lathering that scrub and really getting it in there. You can use some exfoliating gloves too, just so you can... Just so you can get that extra little, you know, effect. And then again, the more your skin is clean, like you're scrubbing those dead skin layers off, the more you can put your product on and the product will actually cling to the skin. You have no smell, no odor, no nothing on your skin. Your skin is bare, clean, fresh. So when you get to putting on all the lotions and stuff, you're good. So we're going to move right on ahead to... Actually, no, before we get to that, we're going to have to get into this. So, one thing that I've been doing lately, and I have, I've only used this once since I've gotten it, but um, wiping down my armpits with this glycolic acid because I heard that it's supposed to, like, clean it really good and detox you, and also it can help brighten, too, since it's an exfoliant. So, wiping myself down with this 
and then going on top of that with my deodorant I do not use the spray deodorants I used to but these ones work better with the spray ones I was still getting a little bit of funk coming through and we don't want that we want to be fresh and clean all day I put a lot of this on like I don't spare myself at all when it comes to deodorant because I am a sweater now one thing that I do not have is full body deodorant I've seen McKenna Walker she has it she said it smells like watermelon I need that she said she puts it in between her booty cheeks she puts it all over her body I would definitely need it for under here because the girls be sweating in between the thighs for chafing stuff like that definitely you can add because I know for a fact that will have you smelling good all day long especially if you get ready you know get yourself a little boot you know y'all know y'all know but yeah deodorant 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 this one is Karen coconut I love Dove I don't really use any other brands besides Dove I'm sorry y'all it's not focusing I don't use any other brands besides Dove when it comes to deodorant I don't play like that Dove to the day I die okay Okay, let me put everything that I have already talked about over here because y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know I'm not organized <laughs> at all. I almost forgot this. We're still in this area. So when I get out of the shower, I use body mist, body spray, and then we go on top with everything else. But I'm going to show y'all the ones that I do use because I have a, a good little bit of them. Not too many. I have more, but these are the main ones that I use. Again, into the night definitely as soon I mean as soon as I get out the shower even while I'm still wet like I'm spraying myself down like and I spray a whole bunch of it too because once you dry down the smell kind of goes away but you don't want that to be such a prominent smell since it is just your body spray so that's why I do it while the body is wet so then the rest of it can like kind of dry it off and evaporate if that makes any sense next we have a thousand wishes I love this smell this is pretty much a let me see it's very light and airy and like floral and then y'all know champagne toast this is like a fruity kind of smell so it honestly just depends on which perfumes you're planning on using which one body spray you're gonna do because you want everything to kind of like match up you don't want to have too much of a fruity scent mixed with a floral scent unless that's your vibe but if I'm the type of person I like to coordinate my smells together so we're gonna get into all of that good stuff once we get into the perfumes they're sitting over here don't worry we gonna get into them so next up next up next up is the lotions duh you can go in with a regular lotion when I use regular lotions I use stuff like Lubriderm um what's that other brand I can't remember I don't really use no lotion like if I do like aquaphor Vaseline type of thing I'm a scented type of girl so I only really use scented types of lotions um and I really don't have too many out here right now I only have these two because these are the main ones that I've been using recently but um yeah we have into the night y'all know this video should be sponsored by Bath and Body Works specifically into the night because i just love into the night so much like y'all will see more i'm pretty sure i have another yeah i do i have another into the night thing that's my favorite fragrance by them next up we have you're the one okay if it'll focus this smells really really good this is my first or second time trying this i think i might have tried it once before when i was younger but i honestly can't remember love this i love they're both cool but i don't know which one i like more I don't know as far as because they're both I'm pretty sure they're both the same thing because it says 24 hour moisture this says daily this is ultimate hydration but I don't think this one has hyaluronic acid in it I don't know they both get the job done this is about smelling good not the body so it does what it needs to do I'm never ashy when I use them next up we have my body butters now if you guys have seen one it's a pamper routine video i mentioned these body butters by um pretty organics the things are coming off so you can't really see one is good girl and the other one is her by burberry good girls by carolina herrera these ones i use mainly only if i'm like getting ready to go out somewhere like a um, day or uh sneaky link i'm getting ready to go out to eat like something prominence i'm gonna use these because these pack on the smell and they're super duper thick so they're gonna make sure you're staying moisturized all day and they smell all day long like 
it's just so good it's it's so good i just love these so much these are these are really amazing and i'm pretty sure they're like 12 dollars a piece you get them they smell just like the actual fragrances so buy these buy these buy these i live by these i really do this one's almost gone this one isn't i use this one mainly because it's pink but i have the good girl one and i love good girl that's also over here we gonna get into it okay so while we're on this topic i'm gonna go ahead with these just so i can get it out of the way because they're kind of like miscellaneous um I like to smell good everywhere so I go ahead in with hand sanitizer scented hand sanitizer and hand lotion as well so the hand sanitizer doesn't matter really which one you use because the scent evaporates eventually but just so you can have your hands smelling good because you want every part of your body to smell good all day long you want to go out to shake somebody's hand they're like oh wow you want to go fix your hair do like this and somebody smells a whiff of your hand sanitizer going past you like oh my god your hand smells so good and that's also why we have the into the night hand cream because again you want your hands to smell good like every part of you is going to smell good so if one part starts wearing off the other part is still lingering that's just that's just how we do that's how i do and i get compliments on my smell all the time i never play about that ever 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 in my life have not played about it since maybe middle school <laughs> we're gonna smell good around here okay and next up i'm gonna use some of this right now Ooh. okay um dry shampoo you already know this stuff smells really really good if you guys get like a certain scent or something just any any dry shampoo honestly smells good to me because it's like a clean fresh scent you want your hair to smell good you can also go in with hair perfume i've never used it before but i've heard good things about it some people spray actual perfume in their hair if that's your go-to do it when i wear wigs i definitely do spray perfume in my hair if i'm wearing hair that is not mine perfume is getting sprayed in it because those wigs take on heat and the heat smell just stays there you know that nasty flat iron smell Mm -mm. if you got that going on especially because i just curled my hair spray some dry shampoo in there so then the heat smell is not there and then your hair just smells good all day you going around like this people are like mm, what's that what you got on what perfume you got on no babe that's my hair y'all feel me y you feel me okay next 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 but right this is right before we're getting into the perfume y'all know me i'm a body oil connoisseur when it comes to me smelling good that's what makes me smell as good as i do my mom put me on pink sugar baby powder and this is beyonce heat rush and then this is beyonce heat okay i also have one they kind of vulgar it's like eat it raw or something like that like they're good though i love me a good body oil why because you can just put a whole bunch on and it won't be overpowering like perfume will be because it's like a softer scent and the more you rub it in with your body heat it kind of like mellows it down so i'm gonna go ahead and use my pink sugar because as y'all see pink sugar is almost gone out of most of these because it just smells so good so i just go on like this with them boom sometimes i apply it directly to my neck but you want to make sure you're getting it get behind the ears some people put it behind their knees um i guess if you're doing stuff i'd put it behind your knees but if you're not i don't see why you would i don't know i i don't know <laughs> but yeah making sure you get it on that neck do not put this stuff on your neck if somebody's gonna be kissing you because it tastes like alcohol it's gonna taste like alcohol because it's perfume regardless of if it's not actual spray on perfume it's going to taste like alcohol you guys also know the little trick that everybody uses because this is oil it doesn't really apply too much to this which is why this stuff sticks around for so long but if you're spraying perfume make sure you're coating yourself with your lotion vaseline something so that perfume can have something to stick to all day long that's how you're going to get your scents to be longer longevity period okay now we're going to get into our sponsor of the day which is dossier i've done like two videos with them already i love their stuff i love 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 their stuff but y'all know me i'm a layering type of girl so that's why we're doing this because you have to layer up your scents in general which is why we're doing lotion body oil the stuff in the shower the body spray like you got to make sure everything's good. I feel like I don't need to add this in here, but y'all know y'all need to be brushing y'all teeth, using a tongue scraper, um, flossing and mouth washing. That's another thing. You don't want to smell stank up here either because this here is going to be the first thing that people smell if they're not smelling you first. Okay. 
you don't want that to stink. You don't. You don't. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it, y'all, because I talk too much. Okay, so let's read these cards because, yeah. So, the Fruity Jasmine, this is inspired by the Dior perfume. So, perfume I always do last. I always do last, and I do a lot of it, okay? So, let me see this one right here. I don't think this one, it smells good. It has kind of like a baby lotion type of scent to it. I like it, but I'm more, y'all are going to see which one I like more, but I really do like this. This is definitely giving baby lotion, baby oil, baby powder type of vibes. I love, love, love it. So this is what you're going to use if you're using more fresh scents. Like if you're using stuff that got coconut or powder, like my favorite deodorant besides the Karen Coconut is powder. Y'all see I got the baby powder scents too. So if y'all are using all of those and say for instance you're using baby lotion as your lotion instead of you using um all the things that I just saw over here, this would be the perfume to go with it. So this one is Fruity Jasmine, okay? Let's, let's get her in there real good. And these are super affordable, babes. While you're going to be paying $100, $200 for the real stuff, you're going to be paying $30, maybe $40, $50 for these. And it's a good bit of perfume in here. It lasts long. It has the cute little magnetic cap to it. Period. Okay. For a fraction of the price, babes. Next up on the list, we have Citrus Peony. Okay. This one is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And... Uh, which one is this? The top notes, I'm going to read these to you so you guys kind of know what they're smelling like if I can't really explain it. This one's definitely fruity, so but fruity in like a citrusy type of way. So this has mandarin, apricot, peach, raspberry. Those are kind of like the notes that this has right here. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, that definitely, it smells like oranges. It smells like oranges. So this is citrus peony. I did not know that that's what the Miss Dior smelled like. I've never smelled it before, actually. This right here is the Giorgio Armani My Way. And I'm pretty sure this one is my favorite out of the other one, which is C, because I already have it. But this one is the Fruity Neroli. So we're going to go ahead and spray this. Definitely. I love the way that smells. It smells, I don't know what it smells like. It smells like something because I've never smelled the My Way before. Um, the Drudge Armani. I think I might have one time before, but it smells like another perfume as well. Lastly, lastly, y'all, we're going to get into the Woody Freesha. I think that might be how you pronounce this. This is the Drudge Armani C. I have this. I sprayed this on myself and compared it to the C. They smell exactly alike. We're spraying this on me. Yes. I love the way this smells. I love it. I don't even know how to really... Okay, let's see. It says patchouli vanilla, rose jasmine peach, freesia, black currant, strawberry, and musk. Now, this one is 15% concentrate and most of the other ones, all of the other ones, except for the other fruity jasmine, that's 15 and these other two are 18% concentration. Um... Yeah, again, fraction of the cost. You can layer these up. So with these two right here, the Citrus Peony and the um, Fruity Neroli, I would layer these two if you guys are looking for some scents to layer up. And then I would layer these two as well because they're kind of close, even though they have a little bit of the different notes in them. I'm pretty sure these two both have rose in them. So, yeah. Okay, now we're going to get into my my perfumes that I have which I don't well I have a lot but I didn't bring a lot out because I don't use all of my perfumes so we have my good girl I'm weak my good girl we have my good girl good girl this one is the it's one of the limited edition ones I think I don't remember which one it is though it's not mine it's my mom's but she basically gave it to me because she does not use it at all I broke my um Prada candy top but as y'all can see this is gone this is gone, okay? And then we have Valentino, Born in Roma. I don't know which one this is. Let me see. Does it say? It doesn't say. I don't know which one this is, but it's it's the, the orangey peach pink one, okay? And then we have this bad boy right here, 
which I love down to the death of me. I've been trying not to use it because of the fact that I love it so much and I don't want to buy another one because I didn't buy this. But um, this is the YSL Libre. So those are my main scents that I use and I always get the most compliments when I wear this and this. This I pair with the um, pink sugar and anything kind of like sweet because I'm a sweet type of girl when it comes to smells. And this is also a sweet smell but I definitely pair this with the good girl um, body butter and into the night because the... Ooh, I keep, this ha is a more grown woman smell than this is. This is really like girly, sweet, candy type of smell. This is like grown and sweet type of smell. So we, we pair it with the into the night like we do with almost every other thing that I wear. <laughs> so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below some new videos that you guys will want to see.